Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are going to be doing a Reiki intuitive healing session for balancing feminine and masculine energy and releasing toxic masculinity. Um, giving you a good general balance of work and play, work and rest. Um, this was actually a um, suggestion from a comment from a long time ago from a subscriber and I happened to see it a couple days ago and thought that it would be really beneficial for the collective to do a healing session on this. So all you have to do for this Reiki healing session to work for you tonight is to consent to this healing and sit back and relax and before we get started don't forget to like comment share this video to others and subscribe if you haven't already i do have um two crystals that i'm going to be using today in this reiki healing session as well i have pyrite beautiful pyrite and pyrite is a confidence boosting crystal that helps attract money, wealth, and abundance. This crystal solidifies inner peace, inner assurance, and creativity. It is also great at boosting motivation and taking action on your dreams and stepping into a new identity. And keeping this crystal on your desk or in your purse can help attract more confidence, wealth, and motivation into your life. So I was really gravitated. Um, I gravitated to this crystal because it's more of the masculine yang energy. Um, really good at attracting that abundance and motivation. Really tapping into that solar plexus energy, that purpose and that passion and the motivation and the willpower to keep going. Um, the second crystal that I have that I was drawn to is Malachite. A beautiful green stone is really good for the heart chakra and it's really good at love and gratitude but it also is good at attracting abundance um, so really good for the heart center really wanting to connect to that heart chakra that loving energy and being able to balance out the masculine and feminine energies this stone is also really good for beauty um, and like glow up energy so my intention for this healing session is to use the Reiki, to use the crystals, and at the end to use the intuitive healing to just balance the two energies out. I notice for myself, and I'm really working on this, is that when I'm super motivated and work-driven, it's hard for me to disassociate at the end of the day. I'm in overdrive so I want to balance those energies so that I can work hard and then when I'm done I'm done so if you resonate with that just know we're gonna align that um, link in the description box below where you can get 15% off your crystals on Luna Gem Gems website I love the crystals and let's go ahead and get started Just giving you a gentle Reiki massage now. Allowing the Reiki to go anywhere that the Reiki wants to go, whether that is physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, relaxing you into this present moment. I'm doing laundry in the background. Hopefully you don't hear it. It's very slight. Um, I can hear it slightly, but this microphone that I use picks up all the noises. But if you do hear it, hopefully it's a nice, gentle 
ASMR experience for you during this session. I've been doing like a spring or you can even call it a summer uh, cleaning during the day. So laundry, decluttering the house a little bit. So feeling very energized today. Got good sleep last night. Got no two that I offer personalized sessions. If you would like to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, all my information is in the description box below. Deep breaths. With each breath that you take, you are feeling more relaxed, more centered, more at peace. doing great, tapping into that parasympathetic nervous system, that rest and digest, these gentle hand movements feel very good right now with the crystals, so I'm going to keep doing that. Receiving the Reiki through my hands and through my eyes as well. Something about these crystals in this session feels so good. And so right in this present moment. Also, I'm going to get my selenite wand. This is Reiki imbued, so this has Reiki permanently stored in this, and it holds the intention of cleansing, so cleansing your body, your mind, your energy, of any heavy energy that just doesn't belong. Whether that is... Um, toxic masculinity and what I mean by toxic masculinity is the the idea that go 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 like what I refer to as toxic masculinity for this session in particular is the intention is to balance the masculine and feminine energies so that we can have a good balance of productivity and rest. So when I say toxic masculinity, I mean the ideology that we constantly have to work, that we constantly have to be on go mode, no rest, no sleep, um, um, bragging about the, the fact that you got three hours of sleep last night and that you're running on 18 cups of coffee, right? Like, that is the toxic masculinity that I want to release. Um, because in reality, when we get rest, when we get sleep, when we are aligned energetically, when we feel good in our body, when we take care of our mental health, 
physical health, emotional health, spiritual health. We do so much better with work, whatever work is for you. We do so much better when we work with other people, when we're on a team, we show up better in our family, whether you're a husband or wife or son, whatever that looks like for you. So just really promoting the idea that you can work hard, but you can also rest. You don't have to be on constant go mode to prove that you're worthy. You don't have to constantly work late hours of the night every single day, 24 seven to feel valued. You can work and then at the end of the work day or at the end of whatever you're working on, you can hold peace and comfort knowing that you did a day's worth of good work and that now you can rest and tune into that parasympathetic nervous system. So releasing what no longer serves you. And also as well, if you're too far in your feminine energy where you're constantly nurturing or resting and you kind of feel lethargic and feel like you don't have that masculine energy that you want to propel your vision, let's just release that as well. There's that deep breath. Those deep breaths are the sighs or when your shoulders just release and feel lighter. That's an amazing sign that we're tapping into the parasympathetic nervous system, which is exactly what we want in these healing sessions. I'm going to begin the intuitive healing to see what exactly comes up for the collective subconscious to see what needs to be served for the highest good with the intention of balancing masculine and feminine energies. And I will tell you what comes up, of course. Okay, so what's coming up for me, for some of you, is the first word that came up um, is bitterness. So we're releasing the emotion of bitterness. We also have disappointment that we're going to be releasing. So we're going to be releasing the emotion of disappointment. And then we're going to move forward with the intention that I move forward with ease. This is just what's coming up again for some of you, as this is a collective healing session. Um, intuitively, I'm getting the message that some of you did have a goal or did have a vision and you didn't reach that goal. Um, you became very bitter and disappointed and that's okay. Um, I just want to release that because those emotions no longer serve you and we're going to be moving forward with the intention that I move forward with ease, giving yourself the grace to move forward and giving yourself permission to move forward with ease so that you don't feel shame or guilt and that you can move forward in a positive direction. So holding the bottom of the right ribs and holding the sacral chakra. That feels good. And we are releasing the emotion of bitterness for increased vitality and optimal health. Mm. 
Still receiving that Reiki, deep breaths. Go ahead. feels nice. You may um, also resonate with this emotion, bitterness and resentment, um, or excuse me, bitterness and disappointment if um, you really want to manifest something, but you engage in um, self-comparison and it deters you from achieving a goal or attempting to achieve a goal because you don't want to be disappointed. And then you become bitter subconsciously or consciously and that, that's okay if you do. These are all real emotions that all humans experience. And I want to go to the emotion of disappointment. I'm going to hold the solar plexus for this. And we are releasing the emotion of disappointment for increased vitality and optimal health. Feels nice. And now we are going to be instilling the belief that I move forward with ease in the cortex. And you can repeat after me or out loud, out loud or in your head, to instill the belief that I move forward with ease. 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 What's coming up also for this is disappointment in the sense of like disappointed that, disappointed with past behaviors. Maybe you were too much in your masculine energy or too much in your feminine energy and you're a little disappointed. Just know that this is a clean slate. We can move forward with ease. Moving forward with the wisdom and the intuition that, we lear that we've learned and gained. Moving forward with ease is just so gentle and reassuring for ourselves. Good. Nice deep breaths. See what else comes up. Okay, we're releasing depression from the mind and we are aligning the lungs in the body, so. What's coming up for me, for the lungs, this is really um, bizarre, but I'm just accepting this as an intuitive download, is that we are 
filtering out information and filtering out what serves us and what no longer serves us. So holding the lungs, we are aligning the lungs for increased vitality and optimal health. Just breathing more in the present moment to feeling that ease in the lungs now. Great. Good. And holding the forehead and the back of the head, we are releasing depression from the mind for increased vitality and optimal health. eyes may feel heavier than they did when we first started. That's an amazing sign. It means we are tapping into that, that rest and digest. feels really comforting. Good. Getting the selenite wand, releasing any remaining energy, emotions that do not serve you. Go to the light. Relaxing and releasing. Relaxing and releasing. Relaxing and releasing. Good. Sealing up your body and your auric field now so that you can absorb all these positive energies and sensations that we created for you in this space today. Holding your legs and feet to ground you into this present moment. Thank you so much for joining me in this session. And most importantly, I would like you to thank yourself for taking the time for your own inner healing and self-discovery. I will see you guys in the next.